What's up everybody, Nick here from Booster Voice Cards, and uh, yeah, we're going over the second part of our April submission. Uh, so we just got back, this back in the beginning of July. Uh, two parts to the submission, a $19 card submission, and a $15 card submission. So right here, what we're looking at is our $15 per card submission. Uh, 86, 89 cards, I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, 80 plus cards, uh, and we have a lot to go through. So we're gonna kind of go through this a little bit quicker than we did uh, previous videos. So here we go. Starting us off, we got Goku. A ton of cards here. Goku's definitely a longtime supporter with us. Love grading his cards. He opens up a lot of this stuff um, on our Instagram Live. Ripping chips, box breaks, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then he also sends in a couple of his cards on his own that he just wants graded. So we're looking at some modern Pokemon stuff here. Scarlet and Violet, Japanese, English. Got the Pseudo Wudo. Uh, I think the rest of these he sent to us. So looking at the Mew 2 and Charizard battling it out there from V-Star Universe. Got the Sabrina Suggestion. Uh, these were very nice to see. Got the Pokeon uh, collection. This Jirachi gets a 10. That was awesome. And we got a Lily here. Beautiful Lily. Super popular. Very high value. Celebi Alt Art. I think we got the Sprigatito at a 9. The Florigato came in at a 9. Luckily his uh, luckily his Masquerada came in at a better grade, getting a 10. So we got this Deoxys here, very cool. Love to see that. Um, some more modern Arcanine. The Big Fish, getting the Magikarp at a 10. The Grail of Grails when it comes to uh, Shining Legends. Got the Mew Tube here. Coming in at a 7, a little bit tough. Uh, and then we're finishing off his part of the sub with some Weiss. So we got those uh, gold signed cards there. All getting 10s. So nice job on the Weiss. Alright, next up we are looking at Jeffers' part of the submission. Uh, he pulled all these cards from our Rip and Ship. Um, he's getting the gold Coridon and a 10. Gold Maridon coming in at a 9. We have the Jack coming in at an 8. Oh, but we got the Miriam here coming in at a 10. So like I said, he pulled all these from our box break, um, Scarlet and Violet or Ribbon Chip. So thank you for your support, Jeffers. And uh, yeah, love having you pull these crazy cards. All right, we got Young Pokey Trainer up next. He sent us two cards. He's got the Magikarp. And we've got the Dedene EX, both getting tens. So nice job, Young. Appreciate your uh, support and letting me grade those cards for you. Thank you. All right, we got a big stack here coming in for squeezies. Let's uh, separate this up a little bit. Mix squeezies, aka the legend. So, got a Good mix of stuff here. Merlin Pikachu, got a bunch of Cardos here. Um, Cardos got a little bit of a tough, tough grade. I know some other, um, some other, you know, those big channels there who've sent in a bunch of Cardos stuff to PSA who kind of suffered the same, same thing. Didn't get crazy grades on that stuff. You know, we got the whole hollow foil on there. Gyarados came pretty good, which was nice. Uh, this was my favorite card of the bunch. Coming in at a 7. Never seen this card before. I think it's super cool. A little evolution line there. All right now we're moving into some other Japanese stuff here. So you could see right away that this has, this one's kind of beat up. Um, I talked in the first video uh, with that Gyarados getting a 3. This is the card that I was comparing it to. Um, this Japanese Charizard here has very visible wear in his hair. Uh, we did not expect it to really get a five, um, but if you compare this card to that Gyarados, that three looks like the best three that you could get. All right, now we got a VS versus series. Scizor there. Let's keep rolling. Got a Lugia. It's my champ coming up is very, very nice. Getting the nine, that one's super sweet. Artwork's great. 
Got the base set two Alakazam. First edition pre-release Aerodactyl. That's nice. So definitely some mixed feelings on some of these grades. Um, we're pretty tough on some cards, not so tough on others, which doesn't make sense. So first edition, Dark Machamp coming in at a nine with that swirl right by his head. Got the Blastoise. Yeah, we, we talked about a lot of this stuff on the Instagram Live, how some of the grades just didn't make sense. Uh, that, that Charizard, that Japanese Charizard definitely being one of them. Um, love to see these first edition cards get some get some somewhat higher grades. Nines, nines and eights. A couple of sevens here for the Hound Dooms. My favorite, the Gengar from Fossil. Look at that shine on that, that Gengar in the background there. So McSqueezy's definitely uh definitely sent in a good amount of stuff. I was always surprised to open all this. Love that Umbreon. That hollow pattern, big moon in the back. So Rayquaza is very nice. EX. Um, not first edition. This one's the Unlimited. Unlimited, it's a little bit more rare when it comes to that era of Japanese cards. Got the Black Star promo Groudon. Love to see it. Crystal. Uh, Miracle Crystal. This one is uh, Crystal Guardians in English. We've sent, actually sent in some Crystal Guardians in, in the next submission. All right, now we're moving into some modern here. Got the Arceus V-Star. Of course, we got the big fish. The Magikarp coming in at a 10. Pair of 10s. And then we got a bunch of this Best of XY. Mega Turbo. Reverse Foil from Best of XY. I think Squeezies let me know that's a Pop 2 or Pop 3 and a PSA 10. But here we go. We did very, very well on all these best of XY reverse hollows. Got the Pumpkaboo coming in the 10. I think out of them, we might have gotten two nines. But all of these best of XY reverse hollows got tens. The Raikou getting a nine. This one was one of my favorites. Got the Vaporeon getting a 10. This one was nice too. We got the Greninja getting a 10. And then there might be one more nine. Delinquent getting a 10. I think this is it. Yeah, the Skyla. Skyla's coming in at a 9. That's okay. All right, some more ultra modern. Professor's Research. It's getting a 10. The Rainbow Serena getting a 9. These cards were amazing to handle, man. Um, I definitely appreciate you sending all this stuff in to me. And we're getting the Reds Challenge at a 9. I think this one's actually for Wiz. So we sent in a card for his buddy. And uh, really hoping for a nine, for, uh, a 10 for that one. But coming up with a 9. All right, we got two more stacks to go through here. We've got Kenny. Kenny also sent in a couple cards for a friend. Um, but these first, first few were his and the last three or four uh, um, friend of his that he sent in. So this one was a big one. I was very happy to see this come through. Kenny's finally getting himself an e-reader, 10. He's been really dying for one of those. He sent in a bunch of e-readers that just couldn't score that 10. They got the 9s, but happy to see that he finally scored a 10, especially on that Typhlosion. This for Alligator is awesome. Got the Reverse Hollow version of it. Uh, this one definitely needs to be reconsidered for grading. Got the Pichu. Couldn't really find much wrong with it at all while we were looking at it. But I think that one needs to be cracked and regraded. Got the Blastoise here. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Mew and Mewtwo. You know, I think this one needs to be taken a closer look at, too. Especially with it being pretty modern. Got the Charizard here. Another 10. So, Kenny, now you have two 10s uh, in your collection. Expeditions, e-readers. Gotta love it. Big hunt for those. They just were not a fan of the Mewtwo, I guess, for Kenny's submission. Can't get him a 10 on the Mewtwo. Got the V, Mewtwo V, Alt Art from Pokemon Go. And then these last three. Got the Typhlosion, Reverse Hollow. We've got the Mewtwo from Shining Legends, the Rainbow. And we've got the Arcanine. Blaine's Arcanine. The Hollow is beautiful on it. But no luck on a 10 for, the, for you there. 
All right, last part of the submission, we submitted four cards for myself, courtesy of Mixed Squeezies, doing me a favor and covering the cost of four cards. Um, like I said, I, I don't take any fees or anything like that for for grading your cards. Um, I do it just just for the love of it. And uh, But yeah, I, I definitely accept uh, the nice gesture that Mixed Squeezy offered there. So we, we did this play again. We did the um, Black Star promo, Charizard UPC play. We're really trying to get as many 10s as we can on here. And unfortunately, we're scoring nines on all three of them. But that's all right. Uh, we finished off the sub with a brand new, at the time, brand new uh, Chen Pao from, from Snow Hazard. So that one's getting the 10 at least. Um, I think I have somebody in mind who already wants this, which is which is cool. I'll uh, kind of figure out a price and let them have it. But yeah, um, this was a big one, guys. This was the biggest one so far that we've gotten back. Tons of boxes that we got, so... Yeah, be able to pack all this stuff up for you, send it out your way, and you should have it in no time. Uh, like I said, I love this whole process of, of grading cards for everybody. Um, I get to grade a few cards for myself. Uh, the cool thing is, is that when we do rip and ships, I'll just hold on to your cards, uh, grade them for you, and then if you want to send me anything else at the end of the month, or just during the month, then I'll, I'll send it all to PSA. Um, so, so far, at the time of recording this video, we've sent in cards to CGC. And we should be finishing up our July PSA sub. So we have a few cards going out to PSA at the end of July. And then when I get my CGC cards back, then we'll start having CGC grading available as well. A um, lot happening right now. Obsidian Flame is about to come out. Uh, Ruler of the Black Flame just came out. And uh, I'm not too sure where I should uh, be putting my chips down. Um, I'm already getting Obsidian Flame. Um, a lot of people are speculating that the price is dropping already, um, which is fine. No problem. I have it available to anybody who wants it. And, I'll, of course, I'll be ripping some for myself, too. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Uh, like I said, I don't take any sort of profit or grading fees for myself um, while I'm doing these submissions. So just do me a favor. Hit the like on the video. Uh, subscribe to the channel um, just to keep up with all the videos that we do. This is more of like an archive of, of all the grading that we do here. Um, but a sub and a like and a comment definitely go a long way. Uh, we definitely do a lot more on Instagram where we interact with everybody who's grading their cards. So that's that's the main main platform that I'm on is, is Instagram. But, you know, like I said, I just do these videos as more of an archive to go through everything and, and uh, kind of track the submission portion of it and the return portion of it. But yeah, thanks again, guys. Um, we'll see you next time. Peace.